my gosh, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, there we go. Big brown. Bam. Told ya. It's gotta keep switching it up here. Once you get tired of one pattern, you need to switch up to another. That is really the key to going good here. And there goes one. Got that one, that's a nice fish in the mouth. Got him in the mouth. There we go. There we go. Not bad. He ain't the biggest one of the day, but he's still big enough. Death stare into the camera. It's a beautiful fish. All right, dude. Look how thick these fish are. That's ridiculous. Get out of here, buddy. Fish hole just hooked into a nice one. <laughs> Looks like a big brown. He's running on you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jeez. Oh my gosh. All right, see you later, dude. There he goes. What is up, guys? It is Ozzy Fishing Adventures, and today I have a spectacular action packed video for you guys over at the Yellow Breaches Run. Boy, guys, was it a fun day. I actually had my buddy from West Virginia, Fishhawk, come up, and he has 80,000 subscribers. If you want to check out his YouTube channel, link in the description below. Guys, he might not be a fly fisherman, but he's a very passionate wild trout enthusiast, just like me. He goes after a lot of wild trout, and me and him decided to collab, and we're probably going to collab a lot more in the future. However, today, guys, me and Fishhawk decided to go after some big, hefty stalkers, because why not? He's got an awesome channel. The only thing I got to do now is convert him to the fly fishing world. That's the whole goal. That's the whole goal, boys. But we had an awesome day. He caught some fish. I caught some fish. And let's get right into the video. I don't want to speak too much anymore. But if you want to check out his video, link in the description below. And let's get right into it, guys. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to all if you haven't yet. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. Also, to all the people that came from Fishhawk's channel to check out my channel, welcome to the channel, guys. I do, for the most part, upload fly fishing videos only, but if I get enough of a base that I'm able to upload spin and fly fishing videos, I'm definitely willing to do it, because I do spin fish, I just don't show it on camera. Without further ado, guys, let me show you my setup, and then let's get right on the water. Alright guys, for my setup today, I use my Cabela's 4-weight CGR fiberglass fly rod. We really put this fly rod to the test today on some bigger fish, which was a ton of fun, since it is a very, very light setup. And as usual with my Cabela CTR fly rod, I am using my Reddington Zero fly reel. And the fly that I currently got on is this Artruse mop, but throughout this video, I change flies like constantly because once they're off one pattern, all you gotta do is really put on another pattern and they'll just start whacking it. <laughs> so when I change patterns, I'll show you guys in the bottom right corner of the video. Let's get right into this video and hope you enjoy the action. Let the fun begin. Here we, oh my gosh, there are so many fish down there. Now I see them all. <laughs> It's really ridiculous how many fish are down there. So let's hook one. Come on. It's gonna let it sit there. There he goes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Woo! All right, guys, that's like three fish on the day already. It's just earlier I couldn't record because I'm um, uh, my GoPro wouldn't record in the low light. Oh my. Okay, dude. Oh my gosh. Take it easy. Oh my. Come here, big hulls. It's another nice brown. Nice. <laughs> Every fish has been a slaunch like these past couple weeks here. It's ridiculous. Look at that sucker right there. All right, guys, there's enough light. I should be able to show this fish. The only thing is I have to raise him high enough so I can get him in the light. And that might be an issue with how squirmy he's been. Oh, my goodness, dude. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> and there he goes. About eight casts in, we got three fish. Feeling confident. Can we get another one? We should. Come on, boys. All right. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was another one. <laughs> The world may never know. There he goes. <laughs> oh my gosh. You want one? <laughs> yeah. They are mashing this thing. Oh my gosh. They are on this Sartreuse mop today. 
That's another not that's another decent fish too. Oh my gosh, this guy's making a giant run. Holy cow. Okay, dude. Okay. Let's go. This fish is fighting. I haven't had one fight like this for like yesterday. I mean they fight, but not like this. Oh my oh no. Ah! And I'm in the tree. <laughs> Good, it came out, it came out. Thank goodness, that is unfortunate. That was a really nice fish and he was fighting like crazy. Oh, it's all right, there is more to come. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain with the start, guys. Oh my gosh. Fish hole just hooked into a nice one. <laughs> he switched up, he was throwing a spinner but he couldn't catch anything so he switched to a trout magnet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Looks like a big brown. He's running on you. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. Uh, I thought he was about to start running downstream. There you go. All right, guys. I hooked one on um, a little tiny, um, uh, it's actually a sow bug, little tiny sow bug pattern, pretty nice fish. They'll take really small stuff. I had about a size 20 sow bug on <laughs> and just picked off this fish. Oh my, oh my, okay. Take it easy, my friend. Oh, you gotta be. <laughs> All right. That's the only thing about using small flies. Is there isn't as wide of a gap for a fish to stay on the hook. So you could hook bigger fish on these flies, but the fish come off easier too. All right, guys, we just got another one. <laughs> yeah, they're taking that really small fly. Definitely taking it. Let's get this one in this time. I lost free on this really small fly. It's another nice fish. I will not lose. Oh my god. Oh, we had a double up. Oh my gosh, this guy's trying to run for the corner over here. I can't control this fish. <laughs> oh my, this is a really nice fish. Oh my gosh. Holy, it's either I have this fish foul hooked or it's absolutely massive, dude. I don't know which one it is. He's trying to go up that waterfall. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think I might have this fish by the tail or something. There's no way it's that big. This thing has to be absolutely massive if I have this thing in the mouth. You gotta be absolutely kidding me. I am foul hooked. <laughs> it's a big, it's a giant rainbow, but he's foul hooked right at the top. Oh my gosh. Thing's fighting like crazy though. Oh my goodness. Don't you dare start running down there. No, it's a brown. No! Yep, we're chasing him. <laughs> All right. Let's go retrieve my boy. Come here, big hoss. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought I for sure I had this one in the mouth by how I felt. I thought I felt the take. But he's hooked right at the top of the dorsal fin. Unfortunately. Oh my gosh, there's so many fish for here too. There's fish all over this creek. This guy's gonna take me all the way down the run. It's the only thing, when you hook big fish like this and you foul hook them, you just gotta keep chasing, you have to like really rush to get below them. They're just gonna keep going downstream. Is there, it's not like they're gonna wanna swim up. Oh my gosh. And now he's trying to swim upstream, of course. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, take it easy. Where is this fish? He's right here. Got him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have to show fish hawk this fish. That's ridiculous. That's a donkey. Check that out. Oh my lord. Got one too. Look at this fish, dude. <laughs> All right guys, so I switched to this little furled fly that my dad actually made that has a little green tail coming out of it and I caught a couple on this. I don't see why they wouldn't want to hit it. It's gotta keep switching it up here. Once you get tired of one pattern, you need to switch up to another. That is really the key to going good here and there goes one. Got that one, that's a nice fish in the mouth. Got him in the mouth. There we go. Nice brown guys, really nice brown. Heck yeah. That's what we're talking about. That's better. Woo! 
Oh my gosh. It's much easier to fight them when they're in the mouth, too. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. Oh, not ready yet. All right, dude, come on, stop, stop head shaking. I don't like that at all. Hate it when these fish head shake. He ain't a massive one, but he's big enough. Oh my gosh, stop it. You're stupid fish. <laughs> we ain't stupid, he's smart. He's being smart with me right now. There we go. Not bad. He ain't the biggest one of the day, but <laughs> he's still big enough. Check it out, guys. Not the biggest of the day, but look at that kite on him. Death stare into the camera. It's a beautiful fish. Let's get this dude going. Back on his way. Into the death with about the other 80 fish that are in here. <laughs> oh my. Want to sit at the top in front of me again? Got one. All right, guys, this guy's in the mouth. It's a nice brown, not a nice brown. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just endless fun, endless fun here on the run. It is such a cool place. This is crystal clear water. It's just so cool hooking these fish. You see everything, you see absolutely everything. I wouldn't, as you guys know, I usually don't talk about my spots, you know, live on camera and stuff like that, but this spot everybody knows about pretty much. <laughs> a lot of people know about, but wow. Just what a day. What a crazy day we're having right now. I need to keep my camera on so I get all these hook sets on camera. He might be a wild fish. Nice. Nah, he's not wild. He has rubbed off peck fins, but still. Another beaut. It's what we're talking about. Right in the corner of the mouth. It's where you like to hook them. Just get them unhooked. Heron took a nice chunk out of him. What the heck just dropped? I thought I just heard something drop. It scares me. Whenever I hear something drop, it really scares me. <laughs> There you go, dude. Oh, see you later. All right, guys, let's keep using this fly. Just cast. Oh my gosh, a really nice brown that's moved in down there. Doesn't matter, just cast up there. We're going to catch fish. Oh my gosh, they're really on this thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know he's on. Oh, man. All right, cast back up in that corner. They're stacked up in that corner. There he goes. Oh, nice rainbow. Let's go, baby. Get over here, my boy. Hi there, how are you today, buddy? Oh, all right. Calm down, buddy. I can definitely tell they stock more big browns and rainbows. My gosh, chill out. <laughs> that corner is hot right now. There we go. Not bad, rainbow. I'll take it. It's about 12, 13 inches. <laughs> Nice fish though, for sure. Get that dude out of here. Oh my gosh. I'm just trying to lift you up to show you to the camera and then you could leave, sir. Calm down. There he goes. All right, guys, try again. See if another one's willing to take this little scud. It's about a size 16 scud. It isn't completely, you know, tiny, but it's pretty small. It is actually the normal scud that I usually fly fish with over at Spring Creeks, and it is a Spring Creek. That's why I figured I know there's, I know there has to be some scuds in here, so that's the reason I decided to use these scuds. Let's see if another one takes. That's two fish in a row on scud. Come on. Yes, sir. They're on this fly. <laughs> He might be foul hooked, I can't tell. Yeah, I think this one might be foul hooked. All right, we're going on a spree right now. We might have about 15 fish now hooked. But the thing is, I only hooked five or six of them legitimately, so I don't know if I'd count them or not. Not sure this guy's hooked in the mouth or not. Can't really tell. We'll find out though. I'm... 
pushing my rod to the limit. Yeah, he's hooked on the top. Oh, don't go under there, please. I don't feel like losing my fly today. No, get out. Get out of that hole. Oh my. I really appreciate it, fish. I need to go over here so he doesn't run between my legs. I almost broke my rod the last time a fish did that. I'm amazed my rod held up. Literally, it like almost bent in, bent in half. Like it was literally ridiculous. Come on, buddy. You don't need to go downstream on me. Please don't. There we go. Let's get him unhooked. All right, guys, look at that pretty fish. But as I said, not one fish under 12 inches, I swear. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Took it on the swing. That's a really nice rainbow. Let's go. That was great. I really saw him come right on the swing. I didn't get it on film though. Wish I had my camera on. He's lazy though. He's already done. Oh, never mind. He's not done yet. Okay. Whoa. Colorful. <laughs> All right. He might not be the fattest fish in the world, but he's a super colorful fish. Let's get this dude unhooked and get him on his way. All right, guys. It's a beautiful rainbow in the net right now. Super butt colored up. up the... All right, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, guys. Got this guy in the mouth. Yeah, I tried something different. I actually... I, was, I have a giant golden stone fly on and I was just really, I was twitching it really slowly. He's kept doing little twitches and he smashed it. That was cool. Wish I would have got that take on camera, guys. But I was twitching that stone fly and he just whacked it. Woo! Not a bad fish. Another nice brown. Let's get it. My net's stuck. Next time he comes around, I'll get him. And I gotta be careful, he's going right for those rocks. The fish are fighting just so, so good today. Oh, he's coming towards me. Oh, he's going right for that rock ledge. <laughs> gotta keep him out of there. That's the thing about these, bigger, these big fish, they go right for that ledge. Right for it. Awesome fighter. All right, let's go. Another slaunch from the depths of the run. Let's get him unhooked. All right, guys, check it out. And the biggest one of the day. He sure is pretty. All right. To end this great day on the run with Fishhawk, I decided to tie on a Y2K. There he goes. I think. Oh, no. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, guys, such a nice brown. Another tank. Got him on the egg pattern. Got him on a Y2K. Oh, that's a beautiful pattern fish. Come on, dude, come over here. I'd really like it if you didn't go down there, but I could tell you're gonna go down there. Got him. Oh, no. Downstream we go with him. <laughs> Got him. There we go. Not bad. Let's get him unhooked. Come 
awesome. All right, guys, another great fish to the net. Check that out. Look at his colors. Awesome gold colors on him. Nice hook jaw. All right, guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. That is insane how many fish were in that spillway. Big shout out to Fishhawk for getting that footage with his tripod and being able to get down there enough to get that footage. That was great, and I can't believe how crystal clear that water is, but man, if you can't catch a fish out of that, I don't know what to say. <laughs> that was a great video. I really appreciate Fishhawk coming out the PA with me today. That was a great time, and most likely in the future, we're gonna be doing some more videos. So hopefully, I'll be able to get them on the fly rod though. <laughs> That's the whole goal. Hopefully you get them on the fly rod. But as I said, I am also a spin fisherman. I just don't do it on camera. But I do love fly fishing and that's my main love. Hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'm out for now. And everybody, welcome to the channel. And also for the people that keep supporting my channel, thank you so much for the continuous support. It really means a lot. I got some awesome wild trout videos coming up and I'll see you then. I'm out for now.